I am a little bit more optimistic in a strange way. And I think it's people's like fundamental overreaction, not to everybody needs to understand and don't get my words twisted. I've made this point multiple times, I'll make it more. There's the severity of what it means that Trump will be president. And then there's what actually happened in the election. And I think yes. people are conflating those two things. And I think it's consequential that they're conflating those two things. Because I keep looking at the actual results in the election. And I see the way people are talking about Trump's win. And there's a there's a little bit of a gap there, I think. A little bit of a, like I, the word landslide keeps getting thrown away. And I, I don't think that's what it means. Yeah. I don't think a narrow electoral college victory that could have been flipped if a quarter million votes had gone the other way. And a win of the popular vote <laughs> by give or take 2%. Is a landslide, not if words have any meaning. And I know Trump's president, so clearly they don't. But no, I, I don't think it's a landslide. But a lot of people are saying that. And a lot of people believe it. And it is consequential that they believe it. Because if the right believes they love everything about us, then they will legislate in that way. And they will find that no, people do not love everything about you. They didn't love the first time you guys were in power. And your more emboldened, less constrained self is probably going to turn them off even more. Yeah. And so I think they're about to double down on stuff that people didn't consider themselves to really be endorsing. They just wanted a change. It doesn't mean they really want this change. And so I'm actually a little bit optimistic when I look at the results of the election. It sucks in a lot of ways and a lot of people are gonna, are gonna suffer. And realistically, a lot of people both here and abroad are gonna die as a result of this. But I also think that the silver lining is that the right is going to learn all the wrong lessons. Yeah, and I think the real thing is this takeaway of like, can we trust like the neighbors around us or like people that we once thought were like chill and suddenly are voting for Trump? And I feel like the fact that really is just a difference of a couple million votes uh, and many, many Democrats and probably independents just stayed home gives me a little bit more hope. There's room yeah. to organize, right? It's not like, and we'll talk about this, it's not like everything was left on the floor. We know it was not by the Harris campaign and certainly the Biden administration. And so we have very much a clarity about where we need to go. And I don't think we have the same 2016 feeling where we're blindsided by like, how could anyone vote for Trump? It's like, we get it. We understand why people like him. It's the outsider thing. It's the strongman thing. We disagree with it, and we think people will be the worse off. In fact, if they are, uh, yes, uh, not rounded up or living in internment camps in a couple of years. But that being said, like we shouldn't think that our country has drastically changed. We're just caught in a doom loop between two corporatist parties, and we yeah. need to get out of that. Yeah, and again, look. I'm not gonna say everyone should have predicted this outcome because you know I I didn't. Um, I'm one of those weird people that admits when I'm wrong. I know that that's not popular. It doesn't translate into I'm audience or money. But um, but uh, I will just say again, Joe Biden was at like 38 and a half percent approval. I feel like this is kind of what the election results look like when the incumbent <laughs> president is at 38.5. I know literally everyone agreed with that. Four years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Nobody agrees with that now. I I feel like that's kind of what happens. I feel like, you know, things were going quite well enough at the end of eight years of Obama. And so just enough people, not even in the popular vote, brought in Trump. Then they kicked his ass out, and then they kicked Biden's ass out. I don't think that means they like literally everything that Stephen Miller like dreams up while. I'm not gonna complete the sentence, it, you would have liked it, Francesca, but it's too gross for this morning. But anyway, that's why I'm feeling positive, okay? Yeah, yeah. Positivity, think, where possible, yeah. and where reasonable. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.